Well, here it is. This is a Sear One survival system. Um, anything that I build that has a pouch on it, it ends up being ends up being a Sear One survival system. No matter what options, other options are on it. Okay, because this one's fairly simple. It just has a pouch and a voodoo dangler. Right? These are super strong. Super strong. And they're, it's actually, let me see if I can explain this. This is like rocket science. <laughs> um, you can use this in a cross draw situation too. You can actually have a dangler cross draw. Alright? All you gotta do is cant it. And it, it'll stay there. It's it's under tension. If it doesn't stay there to your liking, tighten the screw up. <clears throat> um, now, don't use Loctite on this screw. Okay? I want you to be able to take it off. However, you can opt to use Loctite. That means you're only going to have to check your screws once a month instead of every trip or whatever okay but these are actually your machines they're put together with screws I don't use Loctite so I would check my screws before going out into the field periodically all right this one also has a slide lock on it okay and I did this one a little different um, so I believe the guy that, that owns this knife, this is a, uh, a Bravo Alpha from Bark River. Nice knife. 90 degree spine. Really sweet. I believe the guy who owns this pretty much wants it to lock the blade in the sheath. Okay? So, you push it up, or you, you push it back, and you push it just to the side a little bit. And it, and it rests up into that groove and stays there so that you can't get this thing out. I mean, if you really pull on it, you could probably get it out. But, I don't know. I'm not strong enough. All right. Then again, I got arthritis in this hand, too. So, <laughs> yep comes from building sheaths all right there it is this is um black raptor it's kind of got that leather look to it you got a, a black basket weave or black brick mount plate for the pouch because you can take that off too it's removable all right uh inside the pouch oh voodoo dangler right you can take that off as well it folds down if you want to put it in your pack or whatever it also has a tin inside of it that you can put anything in. You, I, it doesn't matter what you put. Oh, jeez. All right. It happens to have a card in it, one of my cards. <laughs> right. Um, and his extra screws. I try to give guys extra screws just in case they lose one or two or whatever. Okay. And then he's got plenty of room for a flashlight, compass, a fire tinder, whatever he wants. Whatever he wants to put in there. I'm going to put that back down to the lightest position so I can draw the knife. Alright. Bravo Alpha, Bark River. Bark River builds some really nice knives that aren't super expensive. You know what I mean? And, you know, the prices they put on them, they're, it's worth it. It's worth it. They are top quality knives. So, I, I have never had one fail on me. You know what I mean? And, and I don't really get into what other people say. I just go on my own experiences. Because I've heard people say a lot of things about this company, that company. That, and I find, in the long run, not to be true. Because I don't have that experience. <clears throat> I have a different experience. Okay? So there it is. 
Hope you guys enjoy it. If you're looking for something like this, just text me. It's real simple. 443-315-6033. That's it. Just text. And then I got your name there, and I can go right to your all the messages. And, you know, that keeps me from making mistakes because I can go back and read what you wanted, right? All right, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. This is Doug Wilson from Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors, the Hawk's Nest Vlog. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would, please. Thank you. See ya!